vibration reading for the um, Aquarians for the year 2020 I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back um, you know, Aquarians oh my god Aquarians 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 it's a good year for you guys because it is the air of the fool now the energy of the air of the fool aquarians is that it's a wonderful period for you guys because it's about changes it's about um everyone going on a new journey you aquarians are given the world a change and showing you what is happening for you guys okay so the energy of uh, the fool is uh, you guys that give and share and give each and every other sign zodiac sign to make a change in their lives and this is going to be good okay so aquarian sun moon and rising sign let's see what's coming up for you in the year 2020 for the aquarians so i see for you aquarians um a, a justice the balance there's a balance coming up in january for you aquarians whatever the issue the situation is that you were going through um in the year 2020 i see you receiving a balance in january now this balance could be coming up as legal issues being um balanced out or this balance could be coming up as issues and situation conflicts uh, from years before that you're balancing out and this is going to be good so you have air energies beginning the year 2020 and this is going to be fantastic because you have your own energy vibration as you begin the year as we look at uh, February for you Aquarians you are moving forward you are trying to find inner strength after some uh, um this um yeah hardship or some imbalance that was in your life you are finding in the month of february to move on and this is fantastic this is a fire energy and it is the energy of finding the strength to move forward and this is going to be good as we look at march we have the energy of the world a cycle has ended with some deceptive situation that was transpiring a cycle has finally ended and you aquarians are moving forward in a wonderful alignment of energies so we have for you aquarians in the first three months um we have the energy of hair in the month of january in the month of february we have fire where you're trying to resolve move away from situation moving forward in your life and in the month of march you have the earth energy of the hurt that is coming in so this is where i see that balance ending of situation and you're going to be having a new start okay as we look at april um, you have the energy of the lovers coming up in april some of you are dealing with situations with family um and uh, this could be um your partner uh it could be your 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 children um if you're married there could be marriage issues and that sort of a thing but we're going to be finding out what exactly is going to be happening so you have the energy of water emotional energy positive in the month of may 
you have the energy of judgment coming out in the month of May so whatever is transpiring for you guys information is going to be coming out in the month of May we're going to be seeing as it is positive information whatever that was happening and transpiring you have a judgment call that is coming out this is the energy of water in the month of May in the month of June we have the energy of another water sign where some information is going to be coming out now whatever this information is because first you have a judgment call in May and in June another thing where light is being shed on something now whatever this light has been shed on it's uh, it's 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 situation that is going to be coming to an end because light is going to be shed on something and it this this information that is coming out an end is going to come to it okay so as we look at your second quarter from April May and June we have water energy emotional energy a positive emotional April in May we have information that is going to be coming out it depends on who you are and then we have information um, that light is going to be shed on in June so the first half here for you guys January is January and April is going to be January March and April is going to be your best month okay January March and April is going to be your best month as we move forward and look at the second half of the year we have the energy of the moon secrecy secrecy and the energy of the moon has to do with the cancer secrecy so whatever that is happening and transpire in July there is information that is going to be coming out this information could be coming out about your partner or something in the family or that sort of an issue now what is going to be transpiring for you guys is that it depends on who and whatever is affecting you as we go deeper in the reading and please remember go check out the extended reading because there is more information that is going to be coming up for you guys as we move forward we have the energy of um, August and we have the energy of the magician so for you um, Aquarian August is looking really good for you August is going to be um, the time where you are going to be making a lot of changes in your life and whatever you decide to do in this year August is going to be a good year for you Aquarians so as we look at September we have the eye princess the energy of the eye princess is coming up it is the energy that is helping us in this year because it's the year of 20 so the eye princess is too so whatever is transpiring in September I see the intuition if you are a psychic your psychic is going to be extremely high in September whatever is transpiring around you it's another water energy that is coming up for you guys so as we look at this third quarter we see the energy of the moon which is a water energy the magician in the month of august which is august is going to be good for you aquarians and um we see the energy of water coming back in the month of september which is healing yourself okay october I see you overcoming a situation in October I see some victory and success in October so if some of you have to deal with an, a, a legal issue I see October is when you're going to be overcoming and victoriously outcoming of a situation in October October some of you could be relocation or you could be also thinking about um, buying a car relocating traveling in October also is coming up for you November is uh, the energy of the wheel of fortune so this is wonderful for you um, Aquarians the wheel of fortune is here and whatever that is transpiring this wheel of fortune is bringing luck for a lot of you Aquarians it's a fire energy so you guys have two fire energies so your last quarter seems to be one of the best and you have your own energy vibration in the month of December so Aquarians this year is looking so wonderful so fantastic especially the last three months of the year and you have the energy of the devil for you guys that is surrounding you in this year now the energy of the devil is the energy of 
how um, low of energy of people that is around you is as if you're getting rid of them it's as if you're working out this energy in this year so be aware of what is ha happening for you Aquarians because it's not a bad year it's a year of just a lot of uh, changes that is going to be happening and we all have to understand that in life changes comes up in life and uh, we just need to understand these changes okay so I'm going to let you guys have and see what you have to deal with in the year 2020 so we're going to be going in and we're going to be looking and seeing how these uh, situations are going to affect you guys and what is going to be um, happening okay so we're looking at um, we're looking at January going in to February what is going to be happening for the Aquarian Sun Moon and Rising sign January going into February I see some sadness for some of you January going into February there are some sadness this sadness has to do with uh, um, your money whatever that has transpired I see sadness coming up and it has to do with money okay so whatever is transpiring January going into February I see some sadness and regrets that has to do with money okay because some of you were dealing with a legal issue as we look at February going into March you have after made a decision you have made a decision so whatever this is happening for you and however it is coming up I see you make a decision um, in February going into March you make a decision and the decision could be over your financial stability whatever is happening and transpiring it is basically over your financial stability what you are going to be doing moving on as you leave out of March going into April I am seeing that you're no longer struggling you're no longer struggling you're taking life as it is and you're no longer struggling so it's as if you know what whatever it is it is it is what it is that's how you guys are thinking it is what it is so March going into April is as if it is what it is so you're not fighting against so um, in the month of April going into May I see your burdens coming to an end so whatever the issue the situation is that was transpiring your burden is coming to an end um, with relationships um, just understanding situations around you and your burdens are coming to an end and that is going to be good because you're understanding how um, things are working out in your best um, way so now as we look at May going in June I see the six of swords now the six of swords is you guys thinking about to leave a situation behind you because your burden is over so you're leaving the situation behind you you're looking forward and you're trying to find balance moving forward because you realize that there is nothing else where you are nothing else with this relationship nothing else with the situation you're just um, understanding that it is time for me to let go of this so as we look at June going into July I see another and if you notice all your energies are in the reverse where um, the energy of the five six of cups it has to do with family situation and issues so it could be friends this is coming up as friends situation with friends people um, in your um, environment that um, you realize I need to let go of these people um, because they no longer serve my purpose these are negative people negative they bring negativity to my life so you're going to be letting go of these people in the month of June going in July so as we look at the first half year for you guys as I, I had said um, you know January started with an air energy where you need to bring balance in your life so 
um as, as you move out of the first quarter march going in to um april you're seeing that your burdens with relationship family and that sort of a situation is now coming to an end and as you move out of uh, April, uh, May going into June, you'll realize that I have to make this decision to leave whatever the situation is with these peoples in my life and in my surrounding behind me and look forward because they're not creating any positive energy into my life. So this is basically what is coming up for you Aquarians for the first half of the year. So as we move forward and we look at June going into July, we have the energy of lights being shed on a secret that was kept from you. And we have here the energy of the eye princess comes up. So leaving, leaving July, leaving um, June going into July, some secrets, some unexpected situation, some secrets is going to be coming out. The secret is going to be coming out uh, as you leave and go in. I see the secrets is coming out and the secret could be coming out about a Gemini and a cancer. So whatever this situation is, um, this is a general reading. So go check out the extended to see what is going to be coming in. Um, I see that, um, in July, um, whatever that was kept, whatever that you weren't aware of, the eye princess is here in July going into August. That is going to bring forward information that is going to be helping you, Aquarians. Okay. As we look at August going into September, I see um, love is being offered to you. So, some of you, Aquarians, someone is going to be offering you love. Now, because this is a general reading, go check out the extended reading to see what is coming out of uh, um, August going into. Uh, September because I see love is being offered to you now whatever is this love love is coming in and it's being offered to you and this love that is coming in is going to be very positive because I see that this person is offering you love but also offering you an excuse as we look at um, September going in to uh, in October, September going into October, I see that you are going to be receiving some good news. So as you leave the month of September where the energy of the eye princess, so the eye princess comes up in this third quarter, whatever is transpiring in the third quarter, it's good for you guys because you're ending this third quarter in September going in, in um october you're going to be receiving some good news and this is good so it's um it could be a new love that is entering in your life so that could be it that a new love is entering in your life it's as if your spirit guides of orchestrate this uh, and this is what is transpiring for you guys so then we look at uh, um uh, October going in November I see a new start is coming in um, so some of you could be buying a new car some of you could be relocating some of you your wishes and dreams is coming true whatever in your life that is transpiring I see positive alignment of energy in October um, going into November a new start is going to be coming up and these new start are bringing in whatever you were manifesting the whole year around as we look in November going in December I see some of you could be receiving news from an Aries Leo or Sagittarius or you could be standing up and being present using the energy of this fire sign person pushing yourself forward and this is going to be good because i see a new start is definitely going to be coming up for you guys and you're standing strong and pushing yourself forward and in december this new start is coming in and you're ending december being victorious and successful moving forward in 2021 wonderful wonderful a positive alignment of energy i see some situation that is here um the energy of the year for you um aquarians it has to do with some deceptiveness with some money 
So whatever is transpiring Aquarians, this could be that money was stolen or you had something to do with it or people have stolen money from you or take um, um, materialistic, um, uh, your materialistic wealth or so, but um, it's going to be working out because uh, it's as if the balance come in January. So your year is a year where you're dealing with negative forces and it has to do with something to do with your financial stability. So be aware of what is going to be transpiring that some of you people, deceptive people could be stealing from you or vice versa. So be aware of that. Let's see what other messages is coming up for you guys. Ooh. It is uh, when I am about to do um, these reading, it, it's always so, um, so much energy. Um, I like after um, so much energy because what is happening and what is transpiring is that um, the year energies are not so easy that people think. I don't know. People can't just. <sighs> so let's see what's coming up for you Aquarians in this year so you guys receive adjustment um, possibilities okay so when the energy of adjustment possibilities come out Aquarian this adjustment yeah possibilities when it comes out that means you have to adjust yourself okay it means that you have to adjust yourself and whatever is transpiring is as if some of you needs to adjust your whole outset on life, okay? The, the way you see the world around you. You have to be very um, understanding of people and situation. But before we go any further... Um, we are going to be filling in the gaps to see what else is going to come up. So I see a situation where strength is here. I see a situation where strength is here. And in the month, the gap sits in the month of uh, April, May. So in April, May, what is coming up for you? The judgment call is about a friend. So in April, there is a, going to be a judgment call about a friend, okay? So we had judgment in May, sorry, in May. In May, we have judgment in May, and there is going to be judgment call coming up about a friend, okay? In June, what we see, love coming in in June. Um, This is good. I think this is... Um, the month that some of you could be finding true love and it is uh, it is April or June April or June okay so let's see what else is coming out so as we go back to January the energy of the moon emotions with a legal issue could be coming out for some of you emotions with a legal issue could be um, coming out for some of you in January I see tears for some of you over a legal issue that has to do with money in January, okay? In February, I see strength. Some of you could be traveling or some of you, um, yeah, it's fine and balanced to deal with. Some of you are moving. Some of you could be traveling, going overseas, traveling in the month of February, okay? So we see that uh, the ship, some of you could be um, looking to travel in the month of February. In the month of March, I see an ending with the world is coming in for you guys. An ending with the world that is coming in for you guys in the month of March. And that is going to be good. In the month of April with the lovers, I'm seeing the end to a relationship, the end to a marriage, the end to a relationship could be coming up in the month of uh, april okay and in may you're going to be finding out something about a friend and in june i see new love is coming in 
as we look at July with the energy of the moon I see news something that you weren't aware of I see news coming in some unexpected news is going to be coming in something that you weren't aware of is going to be coming in in the month of July in the month of August I see you're going to overcome and win a conflicts that was going on in August uh, conflicts is going to be coming up in August that you're going to be winning and overcoming okay so you're going to be winning and overcoming a uh, conflicts in August in September I see blockages um, but you're going to be released out of this blockages so it could be the block um, to um, it's like uh, there was a block between you and your partner a block between you and a situation and you're going to be moving away because i see some good news the six of ones is coming in that is going to be removing this block okay as we look at um october with a victory and a new start i see communicate to, communication coming at you with a victory and a new start this is positive communication that is going to be coming to you with a victory and a new start and this is going to be good excellent as we look at the energy of uh, the queen um, i see the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune is here I see your mom, your parents could be coming in and helping you, but I see people in power could be coming in and also helping you out, okay? They could be coming in and helping you to give you a new start. And in the month of December, which is a very good month, I see a new start with love. I see a new start coming from information. If, say, you weren't hearing from your mom, I see um, news coming in from your mom. I see you're going to be victoriously overcoming a situation. I see good news is coming in and it's from an overhyped government institutes organization. This is in the month of December. So, wow. So I see that there is a lot that is going to be going on but you guys are going to be coming out whatever the theft was with money and the energy of a low form of um, energy because you have the, the outcomes of the devil and some deceptiveness with money um for you um water sign you're definitely going to be coming over this there is no question okay there is absolutely no question so if there was a theft of money um and this is going to be over this is definitely um going to be over and i see a resolution that is coming in so you have the energy of adjustments that is coming up uh for you guys so whatever the issue and the situation was for you guys adjustment where you guys have to adjust certain um situation in your life okay so whenever the energy of adjustment comes up it's all about um making adjustments in your life and this is what is coming up six twenty six this is two this is six and twenty four six and twenty four so that's you uh, six and twenty four in this year um you aquarians okay wow it is a lot that is going on i can't say because this is a year of newness okay so whatever message is coming up for the aquarians in the year 2020 beautiful message moving on so you aquarians definitely are going to be moving on from relationship i see you could be relocating i see you could be moving away from situation in your life so moving on is the energy of 2020 for you guys number eight is another number that is coming up okay number eight is another number that is coming up it is really a lot ladies and gentlemen whatever is transpiring you have to be aware that we have only one life we need to change our existence 
and um, this is definitely what is coming in what is the angels that is going to be working with the Aquarians in this year oh we have Archangel Zatkiel surrender 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 my darling surrender whatever is transpiring Aquarians surrender you're gonna be surrendering something someone some situation in your life because you need to change changes needs to be made you are definitely going to be surrendering something in your life okay so Archangel Zatkiel is here Archangel Zatkiel is a wonderful beautiful angel um, and Archangel Zatkiel is always um, connecting us um, in wonderful ways I think it's one of the most uh, beautiful angel surrender surrendering the angel wants you to know that you're holding too tight on to a part of your life and that you need to relinquish that holds you trust that healing will swiftly come in for it is all it has always been done resistance only intensify the aspect of your life that we are holding on to whether this is a relationship or a career or our health Archangel Zatskiel is here in this year to say you need to surrender to heaven and let go the angels will carry you this lover of angels wants you to learn how you release all notions of control surrender um, and the actions that you take it is an illusion the part of life may be controlled by the preparation of how life is chant h a w h a w three times h a w h a w three times to allow the grounding to the vibrational to open up it is wonderful it is beautiful and i've been called that i also need to get your animal totem card to show you what is your animal and i know ladies and gentlemen it is a little bit i forget to pick them up um normally we have to get in the animal totem because um they work with you and every year a new animal work with you this is um wonderful vibrational energies uh that transpire it's the energy of the animal totem i love this card i think is one of the most beautiful deck one of the most beautiful animal deck and this is wonderful so let's see ladies and gentlemen what is coming in for the animal totem uh for you um ooh, aquarians Ooh la la Ooh la la ladies and gentlemen i am so tired um let's see what is happening for the aquarians what is the animal totem for the aquarians Ooh, you got the cheeto you got two animal totem you got the cheeto the cheeto and you have the tiger so you have two earth energies so use these animal totem okay these are earth energy the cheetah and the tiger okay they are wonderful uh they're beautiful um you have um um really um beautiful 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 um just they you know these are these are just like one of the most uh, wonderful wonderful um energies that comes up because the animal and the cheeto is just so beautiful they are one of the most positive because um they are fire sign okay so you have your ear sign 
but you have two fire sign animals that comes in to help you into this year and this is absolutely wonderful and beautiful because the cheetah was the first one that shows up and some of you are going to so you're an air person and if you notice the cheetah jumps through the year okay they 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 can spring eye and that is what is going to be helping you guys okay these are fire animals that is coming in to help you guys in this year okay and this is just so um fantastic so the energy of the cheeto energy of the cheeto the energy of the cheeto that is coming up for you guys is the solar force action and achievement the masculine energy and i love this okay the cheeto is the emphasis of the forces of energies ladies and gentlemen and when it's balanced you're going to achieve a lot of things anything that is boundless and energy wise you're going to cheat uh, um, achieve this when it's out of balance you're impatient and uh, completion okay to bring yourself in balance you need to reconnect to the process of who you are okay you need to reconnect to the process of who you are so this is the energy of the cheeto as we look at the energy of the tiger beautiful energy is the lunar force the moon force so this is for the moon people the moon aquarians you have the lunar force it's all about easing in the darkness the feminine energy so we have the masculine fem energy and the feminine energy when you're in balance it's about passion strong sexuality when you're out of balance it's about overstimulating um, to bring balance back, you have to retract, okay, and do candle gazing, okay? So if you find yourself coming out of balance, and this is a feminine energy, who would know that the tiger is a feminine energy? I love you guys. We are going to be moving on. Please um, share these videos. Um, it looks like a beautiful year for you guys. I, if I look at the rest of the year, this year looked like a beautiful year for you Aquarians. I love you guys. Please share, share, share these videos. And please remember to become a member of my channel. As you become a member of my channel, there are three different um, membership. There are extended, medium extended, and super extended. I love you guys. I joined the channel. You can only receive the extended reading for the year via the super extended because that is another hour of fully um, finding out what is coming up for you guys in this year. I love you. Namaste until next time. Mm -hmm.